Well, thank you, Mr. Chair, for holding uh, this hearing with these two excellent panels, and thank you all for your testimony. And I'm sorry that we have a vote scheduled right smack in the middle of it. Um, I will follow up with all of you about what we can do to help with staffing and retention, uh, recruitment and retention, because it's something I hear about all the time. But I wanted uh, Ms. Matenka to focus with you on an issue of particular concern for me that relates to individuals who experience complex disabilities who are living within nursing home settings. While the ultimate goal is to move more individuals who experience disabilities into their communities and homes, the reality is that many individuals still live in institutional settings, often at nursing homes that can meet their complex care needs. In addition, aging individuals who experience disabilities face additional health complexities and are particularly vulnerable to the kinds of abuse and neglect that we have discussed here, particularly in the earlier panel. For example, these individuals may be unable to communicate, to report instances of abuse or neglect, or struggle to advocate for their best interests when abuse or neglect occurs. Mm -hmm. Time and again, instances of abuse and neglect are reported that disproportionately impact individuals with disabilities. So Ms. Mantenka, as we work toward prevention efforts, do you have any suggestions as to how we can best protect this unique population from abuse and neglect? Thank you, Senator, for that question. We agree with you that these, uh, this population needs specific protections. And so having a strong long-term care ombudsman program is certainly critical for protecting the whole population that's living in long-term care facilities, proper funding so that ombudsman can be present and on site as much as possible to um, interact with residents and respond to concerns and complaints that they have, um, and also prevent abuse from occurring mm -hmm. is really critical. But I think also having enough staff on hand to ensure that the these residents are receiving proper care and services is absolutely necessary. If enough staff are not on hand, not only does it put stressors on everyone else working in the facility, but it also um, affects the care that they're receiving yeah. and ins ensures that there's not enough eyes looking at what's happening in the facilities if people are not able to um, communicate their own needs and what's happening to them themselves. Well, thank you very much. And I will follow up with the other two uh, panelists as well on this issue. But in the interest of time, I yield the rest of my time to Senator Cortez Masto. Thank you.